What if the internet was invented in the 1800s? To figure that out, we need to ask how it even could have happened. The 19th century already had the blueprint. The electric telegraph was basically the world's first data network. By the 1850s, messages were crossing the Atlantic in minutes. Then came Charles Babbage's analytical engine, a mechanical computer, and Ada Lovelace, who wrote what's basically the first software. So let's connect the dots. Imagine scientists link telegraph lines into a continent-wide data web. Each telegraph office becomes a node, relaying encoded messages automatically using Babbage-style logic machines powered by early batteries. In short, a primitive internet. But here's where science fights back. Without semiconductors, vacuum tubes, or reliable electricity, data transfer would be painfully slow. No transistors means no processors. No radio means no wires. A single message might take hours to route through all those gears and relays. An information theory that wouldn't exist until the 1940s. No compression, no error correction, just noise and chaos. So what actually happens? The Victorian net might revolutionize science, connecting universities, observatories and factories, but it'd collapse under its own complexity. Too mechanical, too expensive, too unstable. Still, it'd leave one massive legacy. By the time real computers arrive in the 1940s, humanity already knows what a global network feels like. So maybe the internet wouldn't be born in the 1800s, but it'd be dreamed there first.